Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Can Thank I have you. a backup recorder just in case? Um, is it on use your phones? Is that okay? Yeah. Thanks. Start. Uh, brought to you today with an easy to make dessert. My name is Eric Champ, and I'm going to teach you how to make egg custard. This is my hope by the end of this speech that you know how to make egg custard. I'll be going over the ingredients, the cooking process, and enjoying it with your family. The first step in cooking is always the ingredients. So the ingredients for this recipe includes milk, brown and white sugar, eggs, and water. So you approximately need six cups of milk, six cups of water, one cup of white sugar, one and a half cup of brown sugar, and eight eggs. This approximately makes eight medium to small size ceramic bowls. Second important thing to cooking is your tools. You're going to need these for making it. So, I, first thing is the ceramic bowls. This would be this one. Uh, it would be eight, about approximately eight. You could make more, depends on how much milk and water you use. And then you're also going to need a uh, saucepan. The saucepan is used to help mix your water and sauce and heat it up, boil it up. You're also going to need a mixing bowl to mix your eggs together. You're going to need a whisk to help you mix the eggs together. You're going to need a streamer, um, a strainer to help settle out the air bubbles to make it look a little nicer when you finish it out. And you're also going to need a steamer. This is my recipe. Other recipes could use different items and such. So after ingredients comes the cooking process. The first step would be making the sauce. To make the sauce, you heat up the saucepan in the first image over here. Uh, you heat up hot water, you boil it up, then once it's boiled, you pour in your a cup of brown sugar. You keep mixing it till it gets the sizzle. Then when that's done, you can start up your second saucepan and heat up boiling water. Uh, once the water is fully boiled, you mix up your white sugar in it, and then you have two, and and then you have two like saucepans of like sugar mixed with water. Then while that's heating up, you can start cracking your eggs. You're going to use your egg whites and egg yolks. You're going to use all eight eggs. You're going to put it in a mixing bowl. Once you're doing that, you're going to mix it thoroughly. Once it's mixed thoroughly, you're going to mix the the sugar water with I mean the sugar, the water with the white sugar. You're going to mix it with the with the eggs. You're going to mix it together thoroughly. Once that's mixed and ready, you're going to put the sauce, the brown sugar sauce, into a small ceramic bowl. That's going to heat up, that's going to be, it's going to be hot, so you're going to need to wait about like five minutes. And once that's done and you finish mixing your eggs, you're going to put it in the, you're going to put your eggs through the streamer inside the small bowl again, so that the white egg goes on top of the sauce. Then after that, you're going to have to prep your steamer. So the prepper steamer, you're going to have to put like water in the bottom layer, and the top layer is where you rest your bowls. And once, that's going to take like 5 to 10 minutes to heat up. Once that's done, you're going to put your the egg bowl from that far right, or far left for mine, far right for you. Uh, put that bowl of eggs, and you put it inside the <coughs> steamer. It's going to cook about for 5 to 10 minutes. We don't, to test how it's fully cooked, you would grab a toothpick, and when you stab it through the middle. A toothpick, like when you pull out the toothpick, if it's clear, it's cooked. If you pull it out and it's like yellowish on the toothpick, it means it's not cooked. So keep putting it in the steamer. Then it's going to cook about 5 to 10 minutes. Once you're done with the cooking, you can take it out and you can eat it. You can eat it hot right now. As soon as you take it out, you can eat it right away. It's, it's also good. Or you can put it in the fridge and wait for later. Both works. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is enjoying it with the family. Uh, there are different types of there are different types of egg custards that I make. For example, in Chinese culture, we make egg tarts. In French cultures, we make like you make like tarts, and you can make flan. You can make <coughs> creme brulee. I can't speak French, so I'm butchering those French names for desserts. In conclusion, I hope by the end of the speech you learn how to make egg custard. We went over the ingredients, the cooking process, and enjoying it with your family. I challenge you to try to make this recipe yourselves and see how well it ends. It's going to taste great. I promise you that.